Hey guys, super and welcome to another blog tech tips. Here I have today the iDisk memory, and this is a 128 um, gigabyte external storage for iPod and iPhone. And you can use this to extend your memory all by 128 gigabytes. Now you can pick this up from um, they're, they're created by Olala. I did the unboxing last time, as you can see here. Today I'm going to show you the software and how to actually use this. So the first thing I want to do, guys, is if you're using this, just get it out. And basically, place this into the um, port at the base of your iPhone, and you'll see it will tell you instantly the app is not installed. And I want to thank the guys over at Olala for sending me this for for review purposes. All right. Just for you guys, all right? So the first thing you wanna do guys, and I have a iPhone 6 right here. And as you can see, this is the app, which is called IDIS Me. It is a utility that you can actually install. And it's automatically done, it's very easy to use. You can also connect this to the computer by the um, USB section, all right? Um, for convenience purposes, I'm switching over to my iPhone 5s just to see I know it works on the 6s and newer devices but I just want to see if it will work on an older device such as this 5s and as you can see here I'm just gonna run through the process again and here you go the ID me and install the process just slightly different on the um, 5s and there you go once it's connected just hit L um, allow once it allows, as you can see, you see the um, phone storage and you see the iDisk. Now, if your device has very limited amount of um, storage, you can actually use it to extend your memory. There you go. You can see the um, in-app storage different, which is the phone. And as you can see here, I see my files. I can copy them. I can then transfer them over to the iDisk um, memory. And here you have the side over here which is the iDisk memory 128 gigabytes I can change the grid view I can um, new folder I can take stuff from the library I can take photos and store them directly on the device itself which is very good I'm just gonna go back um, here you go I can take a picture I'm just gonna take a sample picture the camera is pointing down now but I just want to test this out so I'm just gonna take a quick photo just need to allow permissions and okay and there you see i've taken a simple picture and i'm just gonna go back and as you can see some storage space has been used up and as you can see camera it organizes for you you can go ahead and there you go there's the picture that has been saved from your device you could transfer it to the device or you could move stuff from the um ids over to the phone or back and forth all right and there you go, it works quite flawlessly. First time using this, it's quite intuitive. It's gonna go back. You can um, move your music or store music. You can store documents, you can store um, videos. Right now, nothing is stored on it. Pictures, you can go into settings, you see the version, and also there's a guide. You can also set a password as you can see here. All you need to do is just toggle it, toggle it on and you can open Touch ID and you can set a password so nobody else can access your files. And um, as you can see here, camera again, pictures, video. As I said, there's nothing on it right now. So guys, if you're interested in this device, as you can see, it's a very cool, um, intuitive um, storage media you can use to extend your um, phone's memory. I recommend this especially if you have a very small storage on your device or you keep filling up your internal memory you can actually use this to boost your storage all right it's quite handy it can be used as a normal flash drive so even if you do not want to use this as a device for storing um, your iphone um, pictures all right guys Ricardo from blog tech tips saying goodbye until next time if you like this video please give us a thumbs up so Ricardo saying bye until next time